Okay, so uh, hello everyone. So the good news is that uh, it's with the code for sections, sentences, paragraphs, entire docs, it's almost done. I'm going now to push it to, to the server to work with, uh, with all data, with all V19. And since there's no significant structural differences between V19 and V22, uh, I hope also to provide uh, re relatively fast uh, V22 enriched data. I mean, like those so-called data frames, but without data frames, uh, then we can push everything to Dataverse. I mean, like even after this night, uh, I will have the, the things that I can push to Dataverse. Uh, it's uh, with the structure described already in Slack channel, in our Slack channel. So uh, everything will be in JSON file in form of the dictionaries or a list of uh, IDs. So, uh, yeah. Do you have any questions about this? So uh, what exactly will be pushed to uh, Dataverse? You created JSON for all sections and for... Uh, yes, it will, it will be... Uh, and for, uh, okay, what, 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 what the code produces, but if it's, then we can also combine, like it's a, the, the folders or one folder of all uh, of uh, JSON files, each JSON file corresponds to the original uh, paper file, JSON file from the original, the original data from, from the COVID-19, COVID-19. And each uh, each uh, JSON file, it's uh, it's dictionary of uh, it's, it's it's dictionary. It's it's like described in the, in this slide. It's uh, wait, it, it's dictionary. Uh, it will have uh, it's each dictionary has a paper ID, title, authors, and abstract as a list of uh, I, sentence IDs or paragraphs IDs, and that the text body represented as a paragraph, uh, as a list of paragraph IDs, and then a paragraph, uh, and then uh, we have uh, um, keys of all paragraphs and sentences, and find in this way, and also the, uh, the keys for sentences IDs. And the idea is, uh, and of course, with sentence ID, we have a list of dictionaries with all uh, keys that were original, uh, was originally in data frame, like uh, lemmas, vectors, uh, uh, UMLS, etc. So the idea is to have, uh, like, to have each sentence annotated once, and uh, like uh, the 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 way you can find one section, like to, to, to render that one section, is just to get a section ID, all sen sentence IDs that are listed in, in this uh, other particular key, and then you can retrieve all sentences, uh, or all sentence, all lemmas from uh, those sentences. Does it make sense? Like it's a hierarchy. And yeah, yeah, yeah. It, 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 that's why I say, wanted to have like sentences are this basic um, granularity because actually we can combine them in one doc or one center uh, in one section or paragraph depending on your needs and uh, the way you you can retrieve now for instance all sections from each uh, from all uh, papers is just by uh, looking at those lists of uh, list of IDs. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's the easiest way because it's a simple loop uh, and uh, there's no, I mean, I think it will work well with uh, any kind of database so that uh, like it's, uh, you don't need to iterate over a huge chunks of text or whatever it is. I mean, like, uh, yeah. Okay, sounds good. So it's, it's like described in the in this uh, in this Slack uh, channel. I, I I I put this 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 file. So I I, I will see how it works. I mean, like, because it's it will be huge. I mean, because now it's for it's already the, like the original data are huge, and now 
each file will be, I don't know, five, six times uh, bigger uh, mm -hmm. with all the annotation. The one thing that I can, I, I couldn't like, mm, I couldn't solve what, what are those um, ontologies, um, uh, ontologies uh, entity recognition things from spacing models, because actually I, I tried to simplify this, but there are a part spacing models depending on ontology so that it's there's no way to simplify this so for each text i need to rerun each model once again uh, to get all um not embeddings but uh, like entity recognition uh, elements so uh, so it's very un it's not efficient from the point of view of the big data processing because you have five models or six and you process the same text with different models just to get different types of uh, ontologies. So, but I cannot do anything about it. I mean, like if it's necessary to have those uh, ontologies, so that's the only way. Okay, it sounds good anyway. Yeah, and yeah, it's uh, it's also a push. In just like two cents, and in plans, we want to use more models like that. Uh, okay. Actually, I think we're trying to request. I forget. Ah, it's like University of Illinois. They published something like with enriched list of those entities. So essentially, they have a system that subsumes. Spaces, sky spaces, second version of sky space, and then they also add COVID nineteen related entities as well. Uh, but so far, right now, that thing is not open source. They want to run their own thing, etc. Okay. But we're trying to get them on the board. So if you guys don't, because they they kind of they don't update COVID nineteen data set that they claim that they will be keeping it update. So we're trying to get it on our board. So yeah. those things are consider them as modules that you now we we'll yeah. need to. Uh, I mean, like the, the perfect thing would be uh, something like one spacey model with all those different ontologies that we can extract at once. In the sense, depending on uh, like like you have one model annotating those things on different levels. Because like uh, like a spacey model is ac actually written in uh, C++ in Cython and uh, it's a lightweighted model. But if you run like five or six such models in parallel, then it's less lightweight. Uh, that like, I, I don't know whether it's possible to like to merge those models to of course to produce different ontologies, but in one run uh, so that it will be easier to uh, to multi-process those things, just, but, just saying. But. Okay, I think it's necessary just to start, and after we, we can, of course. Yeah, yeah, sure. I mean, I, I, now, now I'm trying to, to, to get the, this this V19 data set and V22, and I don't complain about those different ontologies because I know it's like necessary because there are no. Over, uh, there's a lot, some overlap between them, but they must be keep, kept, uh, kept distinct. So, mm -hmm. yeah, uh, just just saying that because I try to simplify it as much as possible uh, to 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 run it relatively fast. I mean, like if I, it's in Python still, so <laughs> yeah. I mean to the limits of Python, um, and it's, I, I'm not a specialist in all this type of optimization uh, okay actually quick quick question regarding like these models umls is it the separate one or is it part of sky spacing the uh, umls entity umls is part of a uh, science spacing and actually yeah. that was yeah. done by brandon was like uh, for those entity recognitions there have uh, you can look at the website and wait i can share my uh, uh wait i need to find uh, this it's from um Arden institute yeah. I'm asking because Maya from Task Risk, they like essentially they rely on UMLS a lot. Yeah. So that's one of the things that kind of like if in terms of let's say if something slows down processing, yeah, you it's can prioritize UMLS, it'll be great. 
yeah, I think, uh, yeah, so the website. It's like, an, I mean, we are using this thing and then mm -hmm. all this space in our model trained on craft corpus on different type of corpora. And, and uh, because there are different type of corpora, annotation is also different. Uh, so uh, I'm not specialist to, to judge what from uh, which parts of them are uh, obnoxious and can be uh, throw away, but I don't know. It's it, it was done in this way by Brandon, so I I, I have kept it, kept it. So it's uh, no, yeah. Just, just saying that it's like uh, I, I need to rerun over the same text five or six times. Uh, what well, is not efficient, uh, but. If it must be done in this way, I mean, like we need, if we want to have those different so-called anthologies. Mm -hmm. And um, just, uh, I would say, side question. Uh, so, um, what we are doing now with this dataverse, uh, we are trying to um, actually enrich uh, metadata in dataverse. So we are just harvesting a lot of data sets, and we already have like uh, six thousand files. So there is um, approach also to extract. Um, so we are, we are validating a data frame. So we, we can we are trying to get stuff in data frame, and if it's there, we are extracting column names, and column names uh, are becoming part of metadata. So question: uh, If we can actually put all these column names in, in same pipeline that you just uh, produced, right? And we can get some. Mm, also an enrichment from UMLS or something else? I mean, like, uh, because uh, what, okay, so. Um... So what I, what, what, what I want to understand, if there is some uh, information, uh, some, I don't know, about proteins or about something else, and it would be nice uh, to uh, get some enrichment from this pipeline immediately and to put in metadata. To make it findable for people. Okay. Uh, okay. So uh, it, actually, I can produce like for each uh, JSON file, I can produce this a kind of a keyword uh, JSON file uh, that would be uh, fed into into metadata. So I can extract. No, I actually need a simple function. So I need to uh, send you um, a string with different uh, values. Yeah, and uh, it should recognize inside uh, something with meaning that can be linked to, to ontology. Okay. Uh, okay. I, I will just give you example uh, what we have. Um, let me check. Uh -huh. Okay. So yeah, this is what data was produces. It's just JSON, right? And yeah. uh, I will put it in in uh, chat right now. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, one second. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, it's not copy paste in JSON. Huh. Interesting. I didn't know that Zoom is uh, not able to do that. Okay, so. Um, okay, um, you, you, you can put this in the Slack channel. I mean, in our. Yeah, Slack. yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, I will do that also. But I think it's quite. Uh, yeah. Oh, that's weird. Uh, yeah, look. So, um, date, country, abbreviation, canton, name, canton, uh, latitude, longitude, uh, hospitalized with symptoms. So, uh, these are columns from a um, real data set, a uh, okay. real file. So, of course, in this example, it's not directly re related to uh, biological stuff, but for some data set, uh, data sets, it can be uh, related. So it would be nice to enrich this. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. 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 Uh, uh, it's just uh, I'm thinking. Okay, because I don't know when we have those different name entity recognition stuff. 
uh, how much uh, there are some overlap between different engrams or the, or the names of, uh, I don't know, like they total hospitalized. I don't know it's a standard, na a standard name or standard, uh, how to say, a standard term. No, 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 uh, but, but I think it's already in the model because okay. they trained it on, on uh, ah, okay. paper papers. Okay. Uh, so my, my bet, if uh, we can put this line yeah. inside of um, this pipeline, so we can get back all entities already recognized and we can actually put in Dataverse um, ideas uh, from UMLS. That yeah, I mean, it's, it's possible because like now it's, it's not a, that I think that maybe you've, you have seen that already. It's not like a notebook, Jupyter notebook. It's yeah. already just a simple code in, in two or three uh, Python files so that I have one uh, file with one big function to process. So yeah. the only thing we, you, you, we need is to write an, an extra function to mm -hmm. like to look for those words or for the, not words but like terms and yeah. to parse them i mean like to like if uh, total hospital like those words uh, come up in the particular paper then mm -hmm. you you extract the uh, paper id something like that mm -hmm. okay okay it's just like if like it's simple if function in the sense that mm, because if you are, uh, my, my like um, uh, my I would be afraid if it's uh, like those terms are not exactly the terms that uh, UMLS or other uh, models. Yeah, from, uh, yeah, I understand. Do. But but for me, uh, because it will be verified by people uh, anyway. Uh, I will just share screen and I, I want just to show yeah. how it just, uh, Otherwise, we need some artificial intelligence solution to, to match things that are, but if the, the strings are the same, like mm -hmm. the number of hospitals people, it's like more or less the, the, the same term used over, uh, uh, overall. It's, mm -hmm. I don't think yeah. it's a problem. Uh, can, can you see my screen now? Yeah, yeah, yeah we can see. So look, uh, there is a data set <laughs> actually produced by Mike. I yeah. found it today. So uh, I spent some time to figure out how to get uh, all metadata, uh, all columns that uh, he has in his Excel file into Dataverse. So look, uh, if I'll click here, I, I will be able to just to see what is inside, right? Yeah. So like date, uh, exposure date, and uh, latitude, location, blah, blah, blah. So this information can be linked to uh, something from UMLS or yeah. from other ontologies. Yeah, okay. And uh, this is why I'm asking during like... Yeah, sure. I mean, what? like, uh, it, yeah. it was actually not an uh, like aim of this pipeline to, to produce an, an extra mm -hmm. file or some... Uh, correspondence between those things, but to export our UMLS just to as a kind of keywords mm -hmm. that you can put to the your metadata. It's not, mm -hmm. For me, it's not a problem. I mean, like because it's like uh, already because it will everything will be in JSON file. It's not a problem just to query like for each JSON file, uh, for each sentence, for each uh, section, for each sentence. Uh, extract, uh, I don't know what the UMLS or UMLS ID because uh, I think it was some persons uh, asked already about uh, UMLS IDs because they are also important uh, or mm -hmm. other kind of uh, name entity recognition model from Science Spacey. And I don't recall those names of the models, but uh, we can put everything as a kind of keyword and export okay. them as well. And I think mm -hmm. that once we have this in Dataverse, it's also like in MongoDB as well, it will be easily searchable because mm -hmm. then it's just in Python, it's a function of for three lines to look for all uh, UMLS or other uh, modal uh, entity uh, names. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. As, as you described, like that's intensive care and that's that's what or for sure uh, yeah look, like, look uh, in, in this uh, data set from switzerland uh, they uh, they already have quite uh, well defined uh, columns so i think it uh, this kind of uh, information has a, a great possibility to be recognized and linked to umls and uh, yeah i mean uh, 
Okay, so there are small things like you have underscores uh, between the names, mm. and I think that don't, those models don't produce underscore. Uh, yeah, but but we, we can just remove it before. We'll yeah, yeah. I mean, like the small yeah. things like to adjust those things on the level of uh, like uh, on the level of, of of strings because actually there are strings. But in this sense, yeah, yeah. I mean, like this. It's, that that's why uh, why uh, uh, that was great idea to put it in the database in the form of JSON file, not, yeah, in, in the form of dictionaries or lists, uh, in, in so that everything will be searchable through uh, IDs and not through I don't know. So that when you in Python when you uh, loop over something, you don't loop over huge objects, but small, like just a list of uh, IDs, and then you can uh, when you want to extract all UMLS terms from each paper, you can do it in in three lines. Something like that. Okay. Yeah. And that, that's why I wanted also to put this in Elasticsearch uh, mm -hmm. on these three levels. Uh, and I don't think I, I don't know how uh, how difficult it will be. Uh, but no, I, it should be not difficult. Uh, because okay, now we have like each 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 like each file each text will be represented by just one one single file it's not a problem that we get some uh, ram explosion uh, because like okay it's a big file but it's not as big that you you crash your your ram memory uh, with it uh, yes and that's why and then when we with elastic search actually we have a tool to to look for th those different uh like to to do it in in uh vice versa so you look for sentence uh, uh terms and with those terms you can find back uh different uh papers with those terms because we can also uh, like fit uh, to elastic search not only like text or lemmas but also those uh entity uh names uh from different models and then we can have different fields depending on the model uh, we can search those, uh, like how to say it, to search uh, according to those models uh, and not uh, not all text. Does it make sense? I mean, like, does it sound uh, reasonable? Yeah, I think it's good direction. Uh, so let's do it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like, just give me some some hours tonight finally um, found something very practical and uh, i think uh, we can make a lot of people happy yeah i mean uh, yeah just i mean uh, and i hope that there will be no i mean i need uh, i need to have also some time to have it to some some time to just to to digest the whole uh, notebook and to to make it simpler because it was like yeah i mean like brandon provided a uh, a huge work but then it was like the, like to make it faster it will also require a lot of uh, time just to just to test it so, yeah uh, do you have still any questions i mean that i can answer now uh because yeah, i'm i'm quite i feel i quite guilty because actually there is no plenty of tasks in search in engine group that my proposal would I, was and actually i i thought uh uh, already uh, Dylan to do it so if anyone uh, wants to contribute but now at least for this week there's no new pending tasks you can ask Slava about it's not like to Slava but I presume somebody will be watching this video in near future uh, just ask Slava about uh, any tasks uh, for those huge data sets we are acquiring now because Slava said that actually there, there are some, uh, yes, there's a lot of uh, work demand and uh, uh, somebody, if, ha, ha, if somebody has some spare time, he, she can contribute and do something about it. Just con please contact Slava for more details. Okay, uh, any questions? Sounds good, no, I'm good. <clears throat> okay. Uh, Anton? Uh, I'm good. I'm good so far. Okay, good. So uh, I would say we, we can uh, uh, yeah, we can say goodbye to each other. Uh, next, okay. Uh, I, I, I'm not sure whether I, I will be able to host uh, the next 
uh, meeting on, on Tuesday. Uh, so uh, otherwise I, I can ask also somebody else just to host uh, host uh, that meeting, I don't know, uh, Anton or Slava or whoever it is, uh, so that uh, depending on what will be the current state of of affairs, just uh, if people have some questions or remarks or proposals uh, to be expressed. Um, but, uh, Again, Tuesday, if Tuesday is not suitable for you, we could just move it a little bit. Yeah, but then Wednesday so, is also, I mean, on Wednesday also, I'm also off. So I, I'm not off in general, but at this time, like afternoon, uh, I won't be here. What about like moving like to earlier time or something? Okay, we will see. I mean, uh, okay. just don't, don't like, my, my suggestion is just like, don't stick to like after daily call thing. We okay. could be flexible as well. Okay. Yeah, I can. But, I can but there's something I could cause here, whatever. Okay. Okay. We will figure out. I mean, right now, I it's six morning here, but I get up at like seven, so I could do you know hours earlier if you need. Okay. Okay. So we will figure out. Uh, I mean, like okay. it's not just just saying that. Uh, maybe somebody else can take over for just one day. Okay. Good. Uh, so it's thank like you very you much. Somebody else can just do it. No. <laughs> Sorry. What? Never mind. I'm just just joking. Okay. <laughs> okay. So thank you very much for uh, for for your participation today, and we'll see uh, on on Tuesday or later. Okay. Yeah. Thank Have you, day, guys. Yeah. See you. See you, guys. Bye bye.